Scorpio, how's it going? I hope you all are doing well. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome to your May crystal reading. So let's go ahead and get started. So Scorpio, are you getting ready for the full moon in your sign? Um, this full moon is called the full flower moon, which speaks of fertility, planting seeds, things beginning to sprout and blossom and light is certainly going to shed on the things you really need in your life and there is a true emphasis on the word need and not want and as with all water signs as i'm a cancer we are very sensitive to any moon phase occurrence and our emotions go in different directions right and this one's not going to be any different. It actually is going to be especially potent for you. And that's not always, that's not a bad thing, right? So it's getting, like I keep hearing, it's getting real. It's like you can run, but you can't hide. Especially if you're hiding emotions. And those emotions could be anger, resentment, disappointment you know, or even not feeling your feelings and acknowledging those. So you know, you know, yourself better than I do. This is a collective reading. So just please keep that in mind. But there is an intense, and I mean intense, transformation and how fitting, right? Because you represent the death card in the tarot, which speaks of transformation. And you're I just keep seeing like you're walking out of the darkness and into the light, which is very beautiful energy. And let me say this, because with any transformation, we know that it's not a walk in the park and that you must be willing to, you know, feel, look inward at any darkness within you. And we all have that. We're all human, whether it's Again, your emotions, whether it's you hiding, whatever, something, whatever that means for you is what I keep getting. And it's, you know, it's okay to release some of the walls that you have. Um, but let me, let me say that I'm not speaking about healthy boundaries here because we all need healthy boundaries i'm not saying to remove those but there's a sense here that you know maybe you need to be a little bit more vulnerable so anything unresolved okay this moon is going to bring light to it especially fears you have buried down deep within you because it's time to live your life to the fullest I'm trying to see how I can say this. Um, if anything, whether it's people, places, things, disturbs your peace, you need to acknowledge that, release it, let it go, because there is a strong need, Scorpio, for, for mental peace here. It's a time of reorganizing and restructuring your thoughts and being able to communicate but yet stay grounded at the same time through this whole process, through this transformation. And by doing this, it's going to bring you amazing manifestations because you're clearing your path for new opportunities. And, and for some of you, it's in business, it's in love, or some other area of your life where you're, you're trying to, you know, that destination you're trying to reach you're going you are like there's no doubt like definitely reading this like you're going to have a glow up and people are going to notice you and you're going to attract the right people towards you remember go with your intuition don't second guess yourself and don't allow your emotions to become too overly you know, don't allow your emotions to fully, um, don't make a decision based fully out of your emotions, okay? You do have to have that logical and rational perspective. 
you're going you're going to get a lot of fiery energy and it's important to remember and this is like I keep hearing this and if I repeat myself I'm sorry but it's like I keep like always keep one foot firmly grounded no matter what is going on whether it's really good or it's not so good because there is a sense like you're bringing warmth back to yourself that nourishing warmth a fire sign could definitely be significant in your life you also may have this strongly in your chart I'm also seeing like something significant coming towards you in cancer season or Leo season so over the next couple of months and it's different for all of you, but it's like I'm just getting that that heavy Cancer and Leo energy here. I am seeing that for some of you, you are attracting love. It could be a fire sign, or it could be that there's just a deep passion, a lot of chemistry between the two of you, but it's going to be deep and intense. But it's like I keep hearing, remember moderation, keep that one foot grounded, okay? If you're in a relationship, I do see like there could be something you need to address that needs attention. And for some of you, it's really going to strengthen this relationship. And for some of you, it's going to bring to light the inner truth here that it's not emotionally fulfilling for you. Like it could just be strictly sexual. Okay. And I'll leave it at that. You're definitely going to be stimulating passion in your work. I'm also seeing like learning and doing something you were really passionate about. For some of you, Scorpios, you are adventuring into blooming into a new, like, a, like an entrepreneur, becoming an entrepreneur, opening your own business or taking on some type of leadership role. <clears throat> so make sure you know, again, it's like I keep getting the energy of, of staying grounded and planted that you don't get so overly excited with this that you lose your balance. You have to have moderation. So some of you need to acknowledge you have to have a work-life balance, whatever that means for you. I keep visualizing like fire and water. So give me a second. Give me a minute to, to kind of absorb this and see how I can articulate this. Okay. If you put too much water on a fire, it will go out, right? If you have too much fire and not enough water, it's it, it may spread out of control. If you have a balance between water and fire, it creates steam. So it's like, there's just a sense here, don't get too emotional and don't get too ex intense. Like don't go from one extreme to the other. Be in the middle, produce that steam. Because steam is symbolic of like spiritual output, like the things you're meant to do. Things that you, you know, that equal balance of moderation. And it's like I'm seeing the temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy. So again, there could be really some symbolic energy around a fire sign, whether it be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. I'm getting a lot of fire energy, but again, you could have this in your chart. It could be reflective of a season, but I am strongly getting like something with Cancer and Leo season. And of course, the person you meet could have this in their chart. So, and, and, and again, this is a collective. I want to give all the energies that I'm giving. So it'll, it'll eventually make sense if you're not seeing this now. But, you know, as water signs, sometimes we can jump into things, whether it's love, you know, work. And we give so much because we have so much emotion towards something when we do it with good intent that sometimes it it's it's not healthy 
you know, or it just, it's like we get so emotionally involved, so if something happens, it's kind of like we take something personally, you know, I've done that, so I'm not judging at all, but I really feel like things are really, really blossoming for you. It's going to be a very ver fertile season, I can't speak, <laughs> a very fertile season, so perhaps some of you could be starting a, a, a family or, you know, extending your family, take that as it resonates, but Scorpio, this is really going to bring you to so many places, again, you're going to have a glow up here, you're going to, you're going to find that excitement and passion back in your life that I feel that you've kind of, I don't want to say neglected in a negative way, but I, I do get the energy that, you know, things have been emotional for you, and it's like maybe you've put things, those emotions to the side to not really address it, just to keep going, to get through day by day, and again, this moon is going to bring you and force you to look at things and handle things so you can propel forward. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power and I'll see you soon. Bye.